Hey guys, welcome. Right now you're actually watching me take the tail shaft off of a 1990 F350 uh, transmission. As I'm taking this off, I'm doing this to, so that I can remove a wore out odometer gear that's in there. Um, this is uh, all in all, it's just something for you to take a look at. And whenever I put it back together, you'll actually hear some commentary from me in this part. You'll probably just hear some me uh, doing some heavy, heavy breathing as I'm laying flat on the ground trying to do work over my head. Don't pay any attention to that. I mean, either way, it's all about the same. One little disclaimer. Whenever you uh, see the different gears, I use a different color gear. That's because I'm using a uh, gear with less splines, which is for smaller size tires. Uh, and it really doesn't change the uh, how you put things in or take it apart. It's just a different number of splines on there to uh, change the rotation of it. Um, anyway, I'm going to let you enjoy this, drink some whiskey, and you'll hear my commentary as I put it back together. Alright guys, so you just watched me take everything apart to replace this, I guess you could call it the Dahmer gear. Found at the very aft of the transmission and the, uh, this is a 1994 F350 four wheel drive, five speed. So here's the old one, check this out man. That shit is wore down. Here's the one I went and got from the Ford dealer for like 10 bucks. Looked on Amazon and other places, like they wanted like 30 bucks. So 10 bucks from the dealer, easy peasy. Let's uh, take a look at this quick before we start to put it back together. If you saw whenever I took it apart, there's a little ball that fell out. Right here is a little groove where that goes. So you need to make sure you orient that right so that you can, once you put this other little clip, there it is, oh, let me get, yep, this clip, and behind it, it holds, holds this gear out onto that little ball right there in that slot. So <clears throat> I cleaned things up and uh, <clears throat> got it prepped so that I can make this pretty easy, as long as I get the camera angle right, whenever I set my fancy, fancy freaking phone down here on the ground. And hopefully you see, get to see everything perfect. All right, here, let's try this now. Okay, <clears throat> so we have our gear. Let's go ahead and put it back on. There you go. I already cleaned all this, all these surfaces up. There we go. Now let me reach across, get this little ball. Oh, this is gonna be a pain in my ass, isn't it? And oh, 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 yep, told you it was gonna be a pain. I guess I could use a magnet or something else, but I'm just gonna try this a couple times and see if I don't have to. There, screw it, there we go. All right, look at that, slide it back across. Magic, yeah, I like it. And of course, we take our little clip, you saw this come off. Doesn't matter how we get in there, we just need to get in behind. I'm gonna push it in on the shaft. All right, come on, baby. There we go, and it holds it in place. All right, so this can't move back off of there. Okay, next, I already prepped everything here to put my uh, tail, whatever you wanna call it, tail shaft housing, whatever. First off, I'm gonna slide this on. Now, I already put silicone on the back side of this housing. So 
if you don't know what an appropriate mount is, I mean, just a little smear on the edge should be all right. And uh, we are going to set this puppy up in there. I made sure I cleaned everything out from the inside. And we are going to put this back in place. Look at that magic. Uh, I like it when a plan comes together. All right, and it should fit right in there pretty snug. Now, we have all of our bolts this go on with Torx. There's actually four. Uh, if you saw the video whenever I took it apart, you may have only saw me pull out three. That's because I didn't start the video until after I got this bottom one in there. So, go ahead and we're gonna put all these back in place. I did clean the inside out of this before I put this one here, but this isn't really a full out instructional of how to. Just to give you a little bit of a heads up if, we're, if you're trying to tear into one of these, because I know I tried looking for some instructions and I couldn't find any. Oh, wait a minute. This one has a tag on. I want to put this tag back on here. I have no idea what it says, but which is a stickler for putting things back where I got them from. So here we go. Put that right on there. I am not a Ford mechanic, never claimed to be. I just like fixing my own crap and I enjoy it. So here we go. Put that in there. Now I'll take my handy impact gun. I'm not gonna torque the living crap out of these. I'm just gonna Run them down to the snug, and then I'll get a torque wrench on here to do it right. Okay, there's one. I like to go opposite. Two, three. Four. Look at that. Okay, that'll be it. After that, let's just torque these all down appropriately and uh, put the drive shaft back in. That should be it, man. I hope it helps you.